Hello. So thank you for joining me. I'm Robin Hurst of the Vessels of Clay Yoga and Sup Fitness. And today we're going to be doing a meditation for focus. I had a request recently for someone who's been having some difficulty focusing in a really nutty time that we're going through. As this is being filmed right now, it's April 2020. So we're all dealing with this new normal of the COVID-19. But honestly, this is relevant all the time. There are so many distractions in today's technology world without even getting into like Ayurvedic doshas and constitutions. I can just tell you that I personally, as someone who, uh, if I spend too much time with devices, too much time on technology, my brain is just up here. Like there's so many distractions. So I, as much as anybody, need some grounding practice, practices and help focusing. So today, part one of Meditation for Focus is going to be a practice called Nadi Shodana. Nadi means channel or flow, and shodhana has to do with purifying or purification. So it's basically a purifying or channeling breath. Um, and, and the intent I, is towards cleansing and purifying. However, it's good for a lot of things, not just that. I should say and want to say ahead of time, I am a very experienced yoga teacher. I've been teaching for 17 years, um, and I teach teachers. I train teachers, but I am not a doctor. So before you try anything new, physical exercise, breath practice, you might want to consult your physician. And of course, there's also going to be a liability statement below this video. But the things that are reported as benefits from practicing Nadi Shodhana or this alternate nostril breathing, which is what we're about to do, are things like improved well-being, balanced, a sense of well-being that is balanced, emotional balance. It actually, because we breathe in through one nostril, and out through the other, and then we breathe in through a nostril and out through the other, it's actually said to balance the hemispheres of the brain and to balance the masculine and feminine subtle energies in the body. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, it also can help or has been reported to help lower blood pressure and definitely helps us to come back to that calm, centered place. I have a true story used this breath when in a restaurant and uh, something kind of that created anxiety in me came up, I excused myself from the table, I went to the bathroom stall, I practiced a little naughty shodana in the bathroom, <sighs> calmed myself down, went back to dinner, no problems. So maybe this will help you. So this is part one of meditation that will help us focus, to get centered, to get calm, and bring our mind to one place. And honestly, I think why this particular breath helps that a bit is because it requires my mind to keep me in the pattern that we're doing. So you can be seated on a bolster or a couple couch cushions, or you could be seated in a chair, sitting at the edge of your seat with your feet planted, and then just lengthening up through the spine. No, no need to arch your back anything like that. Tailbone underneath, belly in, support yourself. But however, just sitting up, nice and supported. So then you're going to take your right hand and you're going to use your right thumb outside your right nostril or just above your right nostril. You're going to use your ring finger outside your left nostril or just above it. And then these two middle fingers can rest oh, between the eyebrows or just above kind of that third eye area. Your little pinky finger can do whatever it wants to do. <laughs> it can rest, it could be royal, whatever. So Right thumb outside the right nostril, fourth finger outside the left nostril. These two fingers can rest or even bend and rest. Now we're going to close the right nostril with your thumb. Breathe in through your left nostril. Then close the left nostril with your fourth finger. Open the right nostril and breathe out through the right nostril. Then we'll breathe in through the right nostril because it's open. Close the right nostril, open the left and breathe out through the left. And that is the pattern that we're going to repeat several times. Obviously, if you're having issues with sinuses today, if your nose is a bit clogged, this practice may be a little bit difficult for you. There is a mental version of Nadi Shodhana where you're visualizing breathing up through one side of your spine and breathing down through one side and then up and then over, but it's, it's probably kind of advanced. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on that another time. And so maybe just, you know, taking deep, slow breaths. Uh, the part two meditation video may help you more as well. So, but for those who can practice today using full range of both nostrils, 
Here we go with some Nadi Shodhana. So we'll take the right thumb outside the right nostril, fourth finger outside the left nostril, middle fingers resting. Close the right nostril and I'll guide you to begin. Inhale through the left nostril. Close left, open right, breathe out through the right. Inhale through the right. Close right, open left, breathe out. Inhale through the left. Close left, breathe out, opening the right. Inhale through the right. Close right, open left, breathe out. Inhale through, open left. Close left, open right, breathe out. Inhale through right. Close right, open left, breathe out. And we'll continue for a few more cycles. I realize my length of breath may be different from yours and that's okay. Follow your own breath, your own capacity. Whatever cycle you're on, feel free to finish that one out. All the way back to the left nostril. Whenever you finish that cycle, feel free to take a deep breath in through both nostrils. And then breathing out. And how do you feel? I don't know about you, but I feel much more grounded than when I begin a video. I'm definitely more connected to my breath, more connected to my body. As you practice this, as your mind gets used to the pattern, you may be able to notice things like my connection to my seat, or the feeling of my bum to a cushion, or the feeling of the air on my skin. You may be able to notice subtle things once you are connected enough to the pattern that you're really focused. And then you can just enjoy the calm and the peace. I thank you so much for joining to me today. I hope that this helps you. If you've enjoyed this at all, if you support the idea of free love offerings to help each other, would you please subscribe to my channel? It just costs you the time to click. Feel free to give a thumbs up to this video, comment below with anything you enjoyed or anything you'd like to see in the future. I would be so very grateful. And just know that in Him we live and move and have our being and your being is beautiful. And I thank you for your presence today. Namaste.